Why do scammers keep on introducing themselves with English given names while they have ridiculously thick Indian accents? It's a script they need to follow for their scam. Even legitimate companies with Indian call centers give their workers English names. This isn't just because of accent or authenticity. It's quite simply because many of their names can be difficult to pronounce for English speakers, so using random English names makes it easier on everyone. Are you implying that perhaps the scammers are not being forthcoming about their identity? Bold accusation. I heard a good answer that I don't know is true or not, but makes so much sense. They really don't want to make a perfectly good scam pitch and they deliberately want to make the pitch sound off and slightly unbelievable. For example Microsoft. Google phoning you about a virus on your computer and want to help you when neither care if you have a virus or have your phone number to call you on, compared with your ISP calling you because they notice odd traffic coming from your IP and racking their network. Same thing with your credit card company or your bank calling or your SSN being suspended or the Nigerian prince wanting to send you money or a lawyer processing an estate for a long lost family member and to get your inheritance you need to send dollar 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 or the lottery win for a lottery you never heard of. Most non-gullible people pick up on the stupidity of the call, get pissed off and hang up immediately effectively filtering out the people they won't be able to trick without spending too much time on them, effectively leaving them with only the people they really want to target, making the scam more efficient, give better returns on effort. A lot of people from foreign countries, particularly Asian, will have an American name that they go by in English-speaking countries. Vivian, Joe, James, Tom, John, etc don't even need to be located in the US. All the people we work with overseas from Taiwan or China or Thailand have American or English names that they go by when speaking English. I worked at a company once that outsourced some work to India. The work required the Indian users to create accounts inside our customers on-premise servers for the software we sold. Our bosses were very hesitant about this because they feared that our customers would not trust people from India to be in their software working on their systems which had sensitive information. The solution our management team came up with was to make them all register with English names. That lasted about one day because when they asked the workers from India to register they began registering their names as things like Pamela Anderson and Richard Simmons. They told them to stop and just registered them as user 1, user 2, user 3, etc. So basically what I'm saying is that they are almost certainly being told to use English names by their management. There is a very strong culture there of never questioning your boss and doing exactly as you're told no matter how bad an idea it is just a different culture. I had Kevin from the IRS call me, first left a message, then, to keep him occupied so he wouldn't scam anyone else, I called him back. He was saying that if I didn't pay immediately they would send the cops to the door. So, I told him to send them, I'd meet them at the door with my federal ID. I was a fed, now retired, he hung up. But I had the number so kept calling him back until he blocked me. That was four years ago. I haven't gotten a scam call since. Yes sir my name is Brian, B-R-I-N, is the one sticked with me the most. Lamaue gotta love em. Well Steven just called and said my warranty was up so I gave him my credit card information. So glad it's not that scammer caber calling me again. Grandma is going to struggle with Samir Naveen and Ajar, but she can probably handle Bob. There was an article that I read once which talked about phishing emails. According to them the common misspellings were there to weed out people that wouldn't fall for it. So this could be along the same lines. You can probably bet at scam call centers have KPI they need to meet. SPM scams per minute? It's very common for people in call centers overseas to pick an English name rather than using their given names, even if they are in scam call centers. It's not just scammers anymore. 
Recently I interacted with a major life insurance company, and one of my calls was with someone named Wendy. She had a heavy Indian accent, and I could hear someone speaking Hindi or some such in the background. I genuinely just don't understand what's happening anymore. Why do they call at 6am, which is a dead giveaway because legit businesses do not wake people up early. Bottom line is they are dumb as hell. Also ask them what they are calling from, not once have they ever said it was from the area code the call came from. And if you ask them almost any question, not related to why they called, they ignore it because they can't function unless they are reading off of their worksheet. In fact when I ask where they are calling from I have to ask three or four times because it does not compute with them. Slightly off topic. I work for a company that has offshore personnel. Occasionally we will need to partner with them in something. They will give us American names just because it's easier than us butchering their actual names plus they hope not to be yelled at by actual clients. I mean if they were intelligent salespeople they wouldn't be scamming regular folks, that's my thought. Yeah they are not looking for smart, observant PPL to scam you know. Remember, if you are smart enough to recognize they are a scammer, they don't want to waste time with you. They want someone who won't notice, because they don't want the call to start with. What? As a confused boomer learns a foreign name for the first time. They want the conversation to be as smooth as possible. You know there are Christians in India, right? Gomez, Gonzalez, Francis, George, Kevin, and Eliana, Kenny etc. are actual names here. One of my friends is Antoinette Joyce. India is extremely diverse to even understand. So many cultures, every state has, different language, cultures, food, religion. It's honestly sad to see the way people stereotype India and set them into their box of prejudices. Not willing to think beyond that. Indian subcontinent is as if Europe was one country, now imagine.